about to be repotting my, I call him Lil Po, he's a golden pothos. I got the little Chinese container and I just took a little hot lighter, made some holes, some holes at the bottom by like four or five. But now I'm about to put them in a six inch. I have an eight inch, One of the best like this, but I'm gonna do the six inch. And all new products, so I'm gonna put them up in here. So I'm gonna show y'all the moss transformation of a repotting of the pothos. That makes sense. These is my moss. What I have here is uh, sphagnum moss. So we're gonna use a little bit of that bowl of some water and put some in, because this is what I'm gonna be filling this up with, and I'm gonna tell you why. That should be enough. It might shrink up a little bit in this water. Good for like if you got reptiles too, frogs, snakes, lizards, and you want to add this to his environment. Um, I highly recommend it. Give him more of a natural so have these little nubs, as you can see, line by line, you'll see some little nubs. So that's why we're gonna hook this up to the post with the moss in here so the nubs can root up in here and they're gonna be more bigger, more green, more luscious. I'm getting out of this. I got one of these little Burger King straws made out of corn. Fill this bad boy up. You don't want it to be super dense, but you just want enough. This is a pretty tall vine that I have here. So this is actually gonna, y'all gonna see what I'm gonna do. Y'all gonna see it's gonna be looking nice down here. I'm gonna leave about this much space down here. Right you. now that I got this nice, Pothos, Imperial Pothos uh, soil milk mix. Yeah, Pothos soil mix. I got it from repotme.com. I like the one there for the plant products. Amazon got nice stuff too, though. So with this top part, I'm gonna fill this up. So then you take this, do it like this. Lift it over, just like that. So fill this up about halfway. Scoop that around, get it around the back, get the soil nice and balanced. So now I'm halfway, I'm about to add some antifungal stuff to it, so you ain't gotta worry about whatever pesticides trying to get them. You feel me? And I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on here. Just like that. So now I'm halfway, I'm about to add some antifungal stuff to it. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on here. This and this is the fertilizer, just gonna help the It's the pellets though. I'd rather do this than the liquid. Put that in here. So, about like a teaspoon and a half of this fertilizer. So, yeah, if you wanna take it the slam jam, look at it, loosen it up. Just like this. attach it here and then they're gonna begin to root up and that's what's gonna get it bigger growing faster nice and fuller and green so now with the roots Just like that. Since he's already trying to crawl, there we go. 
branches to the moss pole so the nubs can stick flush and they can do his thing, you feel me? Let him eat. Now the base, the roots is boom, they stuck in there. So they gonna be getting all the nutrients up out of here from the moss. This one doing this thing on the sideline. Little baby, 8bug.com. Check that out. You wanna get that kind Plant tape. Google that, plant tape. Nice fungal stuff. type, the micro germs and all of whatever, woo to woo. Get that, Amazon. This is the fertilizer. Six inch pot. You could type in clear pot. This is just a cover pot. And how this gonna go? It's gonna go like this. So it look a little bit more flush and you feel me. You feel me? You feel that sums me. it up. That's how you get a nice pothos beginner set. Put it near some light. Indirect light, let him crawl, do his thing, you know what I'm saying? We all natural today, doing all natural things, man. The, the hands of the planter and the potter. Holla, I'm out of here, girl.